to disassemble the the multi stage centrifugal pumps so now we will see how to disassemble <laughs> mechanical seal position we will call it as a stuffing box you can see inside the mechanical seal portion so here here is the, the rotating part mechanical seal rotating box now we will uh, take it out Opposite, opposite side, so that we can uh, split the case. portion so we have removed the impeller portion along with the shaft now you can see this is the casing <coughs> so this is called the impeller lock nut we will remove the lock nut in order to remove the impeller <laughs>
rear plate so we will call it as this one uh, rear ring so here you can see the, the first impeller this is the first impeller so this this the impeller neck this impeller neck will be fixed with this rear plate rear ring in order to avoid friction yes yes class First impeller, then after this impeller, it will go to the second one. Then after this, it will go to the third one. By here, you can see the third one. The third one is being removed. Now we are removing the the middle one. ये break हो गया. No problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, you can see the the impeller has been damaged. The middle one impeller has been damaged. You can see the crack. So you can see the other side. It's been uh, uh, this is called as a closed impeller. So one side of the cover has been eaten by the water. So this was the reason the pump was vibrating. You can see here also. See that uh, how much it's damaged. The impeller damaged this plate. This is the, the casing. Impeller casing. This is the the first impeller. The first one. This is the the middle one. This is the the last one. We will remove. Inside heavy. Yes. We remove all of. This one is clear. Normally, the impeller will be placed in such a way. So here is the, the impeller neck. So this is the the rear plate. So this is going to be fixed like this. So the impeller is going to be like this. The same way, this impeller also will be fixed in such a way. So now you can see this is the, the plate. The ring is being damaged. That's the reason. So the impeller surface and the wheel plate surface is touching easily. So we are supposed to change the impeller. Or we need to repair the casing, the impeller side plate. Then we need to uh, grain the wheel plate. Then we need to make the wheel ring. We need to be change. So this is the third one. This is going to be placed. So this is the the first one. Okay. Then now uh, this is the the third impeller. Then we need to put this cover plate and this impeller along with the shaft. Then this will be the the middle one, second one. Then this is going to be the first one. So this is going to be a top side. Okay. So now uh, we will uh, we have uh, three impeller lock. So each impeller, after the impeller, the lock will be like this. The lock will be installed in such a way. So this is it. then at last uh, this is called the the impeller lock nut. So this lock nut will be will 
be fixed with this uh, the shaft. So after we install the three impellers, this nut nut, we will be fixing here. Then uh, this is the, the spider, spider ring. So after fix the uh, the lock nut, then we need to place any one of this one or two. We need to put it. So so this one will not allow the lock nut to rotate. And you can see the, the three three impeller key. So this is one we made. Uh, this is the Teflon. So we made this one to adjust the, the shaft height. Then uh, you can see here the the mechanical seal. Mechanical seal will be such a way. pump inside so this has been you can see, see this has been rusted this has been rusted we need to clean it thoroughly the both casing and we need to change the the o-ring also case o-ring then we need to we need to balance the shaft then change the impulse okay then what are the consumables we need to change